Hello Cheap Skaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheap Skates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome, and if it's not, welcome back. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, could I ask you to just click that subscribe button below me and then the little bell next to it. And that will notify you of every time we upload a new video or even go live. One thing we can do that is good for our budget is stop wasting so much. It's a bit of a no-brainer, isn't it, really? This can apply to so many areas in our lives, from eating to home heating and cooling, just about everything in our daily lives. Waste equals throwing money away and no one I know and most likely no one you know would ever just take money and put it in the bin. So how do we stop waste and save money? Well, cooking for the family instead of ta eating takeaway or eating out is a great way to save money. We all know that. But if you're buying food, and then throwing that food out because it hasn't been used, then the benefit is kind of lost, isn't it? There's no point in saying you're cooking and eating at home because there's no benefit. So if you do cook and eat at home, if you have leftovers, don't let them end up in the bin or even in the compost. Some dishes freeze well, and this makes for really easy dinners when you don't have time to cook. You could also eat dinner leftovers for lunch the following day, and lots of cheapskaters do this rather than spending the $15 or $20 to buy lunch. Now, another way we waste a lot of money is on energy, um, our utility bills, the gas, the electricity, the water. If your home is not well insulated, you're probably wasting a lot of money on heating and cooling. Now, initially, insulating is going to cost some money. There'll be an upfront fee. But it will pay for itself really quickly. And you'll see those bills go down. If you have drafts around windows and doors, weather stripping can help maintain the temperature of your home all year round. Now, we're coming into summer and the hot weather, but don't put those draft stoppers away. You know the sausages? They work just as well in summer to keep the hot air that comes in under the doors out as they do in winter, keeping the cold air out. Most households waste an unbelievable amount of money on electricity. And this can be prevented in part by using energy efficient appliances and light bulbs. And most of us have probably already made that transition. But other things like turning lights, televisions, computers and other devices off at the wall when you're not using them and opening blinds to take advantage of the sun's light during the day will save you a lot of power. Unplug the dryer and get out the clothes horse. If you're already heating your home for winter or cooling it for um, summer, let the weather do the drying. In winter or on rainy days, put the clothes horse over a, a, a vent, a duct, and it will dry the washing for you. If you've got a wood fire like we have, put the clothes horse next to the wood fire and within a couple of hours, you'll be folding and ironing because it's dry, the washing is dry. For free, you haven't had to turn on the dryer. You know, if you do this, it's not going to be costing you a dollar ten plus, depending on when you dry it, to dry a load of washing. Benjamin Franklin is credited with saying small leaks sink big ships. It's not the big amounts you waste that will bring your spending plan undone, but all the tiny amounts you slip by because it's just a little amount. The running tap while you brush your teeth, the dripping tap in the kitchen, leaving the light on when you're not in the room, 
setting the thermostat too high in winter and too low in summer, not being mindful of how you use the oven or run the dishwasher or the washing machine when they're not full. All these little things waste resources and cost you money. So if you take the time to plug those small leaks, you stop the waste and your finances will improve. Before I go, thank you so much for watching all the way through and for subscribing. Feel free to leave a comment. And if you do, if you start that comment with waste not, I'll know you've watched all the way to the end. Now I read every comment and I do my best to answer any questions you may have. If you know someone who might like this video, please click that um, share button to send them the link. Three simple things you can do, like, subscribe and share, help our channel to grow and be recognised more easily. And the easier it is to find us, the easier it is for us to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done, even in today's crazy world. I'll be back with another video to save you money, time and energy very, very soon. Happy Chief Skating, everyone.